Hi, this is Luca. Welcome to a new research paper summary by martechpost.com. Today we are going to talk about how to translate spoken language to photorealistic sign language video. Let's get started. The goal of sign language production is the translation of spoken language sentences to sign language sequences. To be truly understandable by deaf communities, the sign language production must replicate the intricate movements of sign languages that involve hands, body and facial expressions. In this paper, the researchers of the University of Surrey propose a SignGAN, a sign language production model to produce photorealistic sign language videos from spoken language sentences. At first, given a spoken language sentence, it is translated into a sequence of sign language skeleton poses, as an intermediate representation. Such a sequence is then used to condition a video-to-video -video synthesis model that generates a photorealistic sign language video. In order to produce sign language skeleton pose sequences from spoken language sentences, the researchers use a specific transformer network architecture called Progressive Transformer, PT in the figure, that generates skeleton pose outputs. Such poses are then given as input to a mixture density network, MDN, in the figure. MDNs are models obtained through the combination of a standard neural network with a mixture density model, where a mixture model is a probabilistic model used to represent the presence of subpopulations within an overall population. Here, the researchers use the MDN to model the variation found in sign language poses. In particular, multiple distributions are used to parameterize the subspace from which the single skeleton poses will be sampled. To generate the photorealistic sign language video, the researchers use a conditional GAN, composed of a generator and a discriminator. The generator synthesizes a sequence of new images that are similar to a style image given as input. At the same time, such a generator is conditioned by the skeleton pose sequence sampled at the previous step. The goal of the generator is to fool the discriminator, whose purpose instead is to distinguish the real style images from the fake images generated by the generator. As you can see in this figure, during the training process, the model learns how to associate information like the clothes and the face of the style image to the skeleton pose. At the same time, the end pose information is independent by the human signer, and so it is learned independently from the style image, thus enhancing the quality of the final result. Finally, to further enhance the quality of end synthesis, the authors introduced the hand key point loss. First of all, a set of correct and good ends images is collected. Then, the generated images are cropped in order to obtain the hand regions. Hence, a pre-trained two-dimensional hand pose estimator is used to extract the hand key points from the good hands and the generated ones. During the training process, the purpose of the generator is to fool another discriminator, whose purpose instead is to distinguish between the key points of good hands from the key points of the generated hands. So, today we have seen how the authors of the presented paper found a solution to generate a photorealistic sign language video directly from spoken language sentences. If you enjoyed this work, leave a like on the video. See you in the next research paper summary by martechpost.com.